tutorial and this time I'm going to explain how I'm doing my custodes. Okay, so this is a, a one is a work in progress of a custodes that I'm painting. Okay, so this is the Vexillian. Uh, I'm also painting here the uh, shield captain. And what I will explain here is how I paint one of the normal custodes with the custodian land score with this weapon. Okay. Um, I, you can see I have this guy completely disassembled as this weapon will be crossing here and I want to have uh, good uh, access to all the different parts um, to, to prime it I use uh, some glue tag so I put all the parts together to see how it was looking like to see that everything is matching and yeah, I will paint the full squad and only in that case I just glued the weapon because it was not too much in the middle of the of the guy okay? But normally, I try to keep, um, uh, if it's crossing, I try to keep it separated. So let's start the work, and I will use uh, as a base coat a uh, retributor armor. If you have the retributor armor spray, I will recommend to prime white maybe, and then uh, do a nice layer of retributor armor, maybe a couple of thin layers, never go for a thick layer. But in that case, I will apply retributor armor directly on, on the white priming. Okay, that is what we have here, so I will do that. I think what's not, it's not really white priming, I use um, the Wraith Bone, if I'm not wrong. Okay, uh, and I will just apply this on the whole armor, okay? I will try, uh, I will, I will try to be a little bit careful and not to do the parts where I don't want the gold. And the main reason is not because I, I, you can paint over gold very easily. But the main reason uh, that I want to leave the parts that are not gold without painting um, is because I want them to be visible. Because it's very easy if you paint everything in gold to miss uh, this part, okay? But if you are using, for example, here I will try to avoid to go into the um, parts, okay? So if I go a little bit, I don't, I'm not going to be too concerned. But I will try to avoid it, especially because there I want to use a contour paint. Uh, the main reason, uh, if you do, of course, a spray, uh, you don't have, uh, you have to spray everything and you have to put it everywhere. But if you do it by brush, I just, this is a, a, just a small tip. Uh, I try to avoid to paint the part where I don't want the gold. So in that way, I keep them more visible and it's easy to find them once I'm doing the other colors. So I do that and I come back once it's done. Okay, once the gold has dry, as you can see here, Next step, I'm going to do a wash with a um, Reglan flesh sheet. Here you can be, I would try also to be quite careful, but as the wash is not covering the same, you will keep all, everything visible, so it's not uh, the same um, problem here. So I will just do this. You can see whether I have the tubes. I just go over, and you you do this all over the miniature. Okay, not uh, nothing special to explain here. Uh, just uh, be careful that it's not pulling. Uh, spread well the, the wash, and uh, don't forget any part. And I will. I'm doing this just before st um, stopping my painting session today. So I can really wait until it's dry, and then I can start next day with the with all of the tails and so on. Okay, so I will do this, and I'm back for the next step. Okay, once the wash has dry, now I'm going to do a dry brushing with Liberator Gold. I'm going to take this. It's very similar to the recipe that we follow for the Stormcast Eternals from Gate Worship, what I'm doing here. The difference will go, uh, will come soon. Oh, and then I need to find a nice brush to do it and uh, soft dry brushing. Okay, let's do it with this one. Okay, we will take it some. Dry. Okay, normally doing something very little and I start by brushing the whole miniature. Okay, a little bit more paint. 
paint and we keep doing okay so with the brush everything with the liberator load let me do it here and, and this armor have quite a nice texture so if you do a dry brushing quite soft you will have a nice Okay, this Liberator um, Gold was designed to dry brush on top of the Red Fibrator Gold with, after doing the wash. As you can see it works perfectly and it gives a very very nice uh, base, so it's creating a very nice already contrast where we can work. Uh, I can see in the legs I changed a little bit the direction because I want to have uh, it's a cylindrical part and I want to have one side a little bit um, brighter than the other. So I will keep doing the brushing and we are going to do this on all the um, gold bars. Okay. And once I have done all the way brush, I'm back for the next step. Okay, this hole looks like once the dry brush has been done, and next step I'm going to do uh, I'm going to use Cheryl's purple, and we are going to do um, so all, all the details that I want in, in on, on this purple color, right? This will include mainly the this part here. Okay. I will do as well this detail. And I will do all the gems. Like this one. I want only have one. So I'm going to apply this on all the parts where I want the purple this thing I will do it maybe yellow this I think it I made a mistake I will do yeah this is like the the same as the, as in the captain captain and I will do maybe this in yellow with another color Okay, so I would like to nice to do this here at the back, the purple, and I'm back. Okay, I have done the purple here, but as well on the on these parts. Okay, of the so I have done the, except the the gloves that I will need to do later. Okay, so this is missing here. We we'll need to paint the weapon separately, but um, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the joints of the armor and I'm going to use Gorgunta for that. Uh, I don't like to use a good brush for this, I just use uh, one already this is already used for a while and we just apply this on the on this type of uh, joint armor joints, okay? So this will give a nice shading and even if there is something missing I go over. Some of these parts are not that visible once the model is fully assembled. Okay, this is going to be visible. Right here. So I do that on all the armor joints. This is when you realize that if you have missed something. I will do it as well here on this one. So you can see how it looks like. And I will apply as well here on these air vents. Now 
will wait this vine because I want to do another layer that is darker on these parts and I'm back. Okay, next step I'm going to do a second layer on these recesses in the armor and now I'm going to use uh, Zygor Brown or you can use Wilwood um, Brown as well. Any of the two will do the job here. So we are going to apply this on these armor joints as well. Okay, I want to make them darker. And we can apply this if you want on the ventings, but I just apply the Gorgbunda and it's enough. I don't want to do the ventings even darker. So I want to clean the armor quite clean. Um, I want to show almost the uh, yeah, supernatural or, or, uh, yeah, superior quality of these guys, right? They should have the uh, armor in pollute, they should be really the best of the best in the Imperium. By any mistake, you go on top of the armor. I recommend you take water very fast and you just go with the water on top and you will remove the excess. So I will do that and then I will wait that the paint dries before doing the next step. Okay, so now I wait that the paint dries and I'm back for the next step. So next step I'm going to use a uh, Drachi Violet. And with that we are going to do the deepest high um, not highlights, shades on the gold. So what I'm going to do, for example here, that I want quite a nice contrast, I will go with this gold, sorry, with this purple, and apply it there. I will take a different brush, because this is not a good one. Okay, part, uh, another part that I want to shade is here okay and this will give quite an interesting touch okay as it is a complement almost complementary will give quite a deep shade and where it gets softer or gets less intense will give like a reddish orangey tone at the end let me do this. I don't want to put too much. Sometimes the tricky part on, on uh, because I don't like to use my best brushes to do the the washes, so the tricky part is to keep the sharp edge. You can see it's very subtle. You don't want to add too much because if not it will start looking purple and this is not the objective. The objective is to create some deeper shapes, shades, sorry, here and there. You don't need to do all the recesses, just the ones that you consider that you want a little bit more of shade or contrast. Take into account that later on we are going to clean up and highlight. So I'm going to go here along with this. So what you do is you go over the filigree, filigree or the, the decoration and then the paint will flow next to it. 
I will put this, of course on the gems and on this type of tabard. I don't know how this is called to be fair, but they are wedding. It's better to go passionately, building up the shade in the small steps, than trying to do a big step and tilting everything. I'm going to do, for example, this thing. If you don't want to use purple or you don't like it, the other option is to, to make this step with Agvax L shade. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more on camera so you can see more or less how I, I what are the parts that I, I do. But of course I will not do do parts of camera. For example again, this thing. Okay, let me no better angle. You see, I touch everything, and then I do this one here. We can do around the rivet if you want. The rivet is the same thing you need. We touch the river with the wash, and then the, the paint will flow next to it. Okay, you see. Okay, I will do the rest of the miniature and I'm back for the next step. Okay, next step I'm going to use stone silver to do some of the silver uh, ornaments that I want to put, including this, this type of tube here. Okay. And I'm going to do the lightnings. So how you do these ornaments, you come with the brush sideways. Don't use a, uh, your best brush neither for metalli metallics. Okay. And you just go with the brush sideways and you will see that you pick up the lightnings very nicely. The, the tail is very sharp, it's very well done shouldn't have followed. I'm going to do as well the rivets and this is the the questions that we are going to do. So I will do this and I'm back. Okay, I have done all the silver parts. 
Okay, and you can see I'm doing the same on, on this one. So you can see the all the metallics there. Uh, and just to explain it on the weapon, I will follow the same processes. So I, I just put now the gold to the weapon. I will not explain until I arrive to something different. Okay, so the gold on the weapon is going to be done in the same way that we have done the gold in the armor. At the same time, I also did the face on, on metallics. Okay, so I will. Uh, you will see some parts are not uh, appearing in the video, but are are the same techniques, and I will only uh, put them on the video when the technique is different. So next step, uh, I'm going to use um, Corvus Black. Okay, I like a lot this one more than the Abaddon Black, no. And I'm going to paint these uh, tubes that he has or these cables that we can see on the custodians on different parts. Like this, okay. So we do all of them. Okay, and I will do the rest. So no mystery here, we just apply Corvus Black. And I'm back when I have done all the uh, tubes or cables. Okay, next step I'm going to use Ariel Yellow uh, on this type of ornament that he has. Okay, again, this one we want to be careful not to go into the gold. And what I did is I cleaned first uh, in, with white all this ornament so to be sure that the yellow will will have a clear base well and it is not getting not looking like dirty yellow okay. so we're going to play this here Try to be quite thin to avoid to clog the tails. And now I'm going to use a contrast paint. I'm going to use this one, a thermatic blue. And we are going to apply this where I want a little bit of energy glowing. So I will do it. I like to do this type of cable that we have here. It's something that is breaking a little bit the gold. I will do the cables that are here. Okay. You can go a little bit out to give a little bit of like a not really always there, but okay, something like that. And I will apply it as well uh, in the eyes or in the to say the mask or the helmet visors or the glasses. Okay. 
and now the next step will take a lot of time okay, that is to do the highlights on the gold so what I will do is I will use Auric Armor Gold this one check it well and I will use a very clear silver we can use um, for example the stone host silver I don't put metallics on the wet palette because normally the, wet, the, the white a lot of water is not very compatible with the metallics so what I will do is apply first for example when it's very light I will apply silver first Okay, and if I see that it's very contrasting, then next to it I will apply, mix it with a little bit of auric armor gold. And I start from one point and I start going down. For example, these feathers, I touch them, the silver is too light. So I go back with Auric, with the gold, and I start doing all of them one by one. And this is the most, maybe the, the the step that is taking maybe most of the time but I think uh, in that case I have quite a nice contrast but in some places you want to clean up what I like for example here is I want to even go lighter on, the, on this point and do this silver thing okay uh, on this laurel so this so what I want to do is apply a little bit of so you want to pop up all the different details and as I said this can take some time but it's worth it and here I will apply a little bit of Audi because I find that it's too silvery if you want to really bright it's better to apply first the silver color and then the Audi Carmel gold keep working so this one I like it how it looks like so it will not do too much but here I will apply a mix of auric and silver oh, but I'll do it more this across uh, even though here it's quite nice how the toy brushing did the highlight I will apply a little bit First silver and now I will go with Auric Armor Gold. Okay, and we keep working like that. So this this aculas are quite nice. I think they're 
okay so it depends how much you want to go here I, I think it, I went to extreme so if you are too much you can take Jehenna's gold okay Jehenna hole is a reddish gold this one and here for example if they put too much of the silver it was too thick can come with Jehenna's gold and add it next to it this will make it always can mix a little bit of Jehenna's gold with the powdered armor gold and then it's more difficult to blend with metallics and um, because they have a different uh, rheology, a different behavior. Okay, so here it will go here with auric armor gold. And now I take a bit of silver. The woods are Okay, so I think for this one it's okay, and If you want to thin the metallics, I recommend to use the medium. Okay. Here I will go just on the edge. Okay, so this is done, and now we can pass to the next step. That is, I will apply foil and orange on the ornament at the front, and then I will need to wait that that this dries. Okay, so we take foil and orange. We apply it here, and the intention is really to pop up all the texture and later on we are going to put a little bit of yellow to make it less orange so here you see It's done. Now I wait that this device and I'm back. Okay, next step I'm going to use Cherux Purple, Gen Steel Purple, and the color Lilac. Okay, I have them. And we are going to highlight and do the gems. So I will do here the arm because it's where you can see this better. So I have to think how the gem will look like when it's placed, so it's going to be like that. So this is going to be the bottom. So at the bottom I first apply Genesis to the purple. Okay. Then I take a little bit of the color lilac. And I put it at the bottom. Okay. Let me touch this by 
mistake like that and now we put the decal on the lock Now I'm going to use a little bit of Cheerios purple. Gene Steeler. We take a little bit of white. something like that. Let's paint now the glove. I will do all the gems in the same way and then for this type of um, the, the ornament where we have purple, first I will use the color lilac, uh, the color genesis of purple, sorry. Thick like this one, they will do. I'm going to take now Cheerios purple here. And I go next to it. Then I also have the darker one that is Nagara Knight. Okay, this one I also have it in my palette, so I can put a little bit of Nagara Knight if needed. The color lilac. Stiller, purple. And we do the other side.
and like that we are going to highlight all the purple okay so I'm going to you know, do you know the rest of the purple and I'm back okay I have done now all the purple on the different parts okay and now I'm going to use uh, no room fan still iron breaker sorry this one iron breaker on the um, spear okay we are going to do to use it to put it on this part for example this part so all the part where I want uh, still look, I'm going to put iron breaker. Uh, this is not really a very mysterious step. And now I realize that I forgot to do the part of the hands with the purple. So I do, I'm doing that. Okay, we put it here in this part. And I will do then everything except the blade here. Okay, and the, so we'll do the, the step of. thing that has there and different parts okay so I do that and I'm back for the next step okay we have done the silver and on the spear okay now I'm going to take Corvus black this one and we are going to do the cable that we done on the rest of on the on the armor on the cable that we had on the armor And I will wait that out within the vice here. We will need to do a wash and then you glue it. Okay, well, I leave this in the side now. And I go back to the arms. Okay, you see that we have the eagle. So I'm going to use no Jehenna's gold. And I'm going to use this on these small eagles. Okay, we are going to play this like that. And try to leave the recesses with the dark color. So I go with the brush quite horizontal. Anyway, more likely we'll need to do a wash to give some depth to this, okay? Do this one. Ah, and I have to do as well, I was forgetting, the vocals. The vocals or the, these things, okay? So I will do this uh, on this glove and on the other, and I'm back. Okay, now what I have done is I glued all the parts, as you can see here, and I will stop here the the, the video, the, the part one, and I will do second part where I will um, keep working on, on him, okay? But uh, now I, I wanted to glue everything, so to see how everything looks like, I will need to do some repair, repairs, and I'm waiting now that the glue is dry, okay? So, keep tuned. Uh, if you are interested in to see how this is evolving, uh, yeah, and soon I will come with the part two. As usual, thanks a lot for watching, and see you next time.